Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and we're doing another character creation video and today we're going to be doing Elam Ferguson from Hell on Wheels, specifically Season 2. But you know, he's in more of the show than just Season 2. Uh, but so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be recreating his weapons that he uses in the show, his outfit that he uses in the show, I'll show you his hair and facial hair, and we'll also do the facial creation tutorial. So I'll do that way at the end, so that way if you want to skip it, you can, because it's a longer process. But anyway, uh, if at any point during the video you find yourself liking it, be sure to click that like button, and of course, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. So you can see lots more fantastic content, just like this in the future. So uh, we're just going to dive on in, and we'll start with weapons, then we'll do the uh, outfit, and then we're going to move on to the hair and facial hair, and then finally the character creation. So let's just jump into that. All right, and so the first weapon we're going to be using is a uh, repeater, or I should say creating, and he appears to be using a Winchester Yellow Boy repeater, and so we're going to be imitating that as best we can here in the game. And so by doing that, uh, we're going to use the Lancaster repeater. And with the Lancaster, we're going to give it the wide grain stock, no scope, no wrap, improved rifling, improved sights. Then the varnish should be the birch varnish, because the one that he has in the show has an actual very light and even coloring, so the birch is the closest to match that. Uh, and then for the metals, we're going to do it like this, and, and it looks basically basically exactly like the gun he's using in the show. So it'll be black and steel for the barrel, brass for the frame to imitate the gunmetal material that was used uh, on these guns, browned steel for the hammer, the lever, and the sight, and then brass again for the trigger. And like I said, this one looks pretty much exactly like the gun that he's uh, using in the show. I, in fact, used the photograph where he's holding this gun as the image for the thumbnail for this video, so you can see, just comparing side to side, that it looks almost exactly like it. So it's great to have a long arm weapon with your character, and that's why this gun uh, goes with the character. So that is his long arm. Let's move on to his sidearm. All right, and so the gun that he uses is actually a Colt 1870 to 1871 open top conversion revolver, uh, but we obviously don't have that exact handgun in this game, so what we're going to be doing is imitating either a 1851 Navy or 1860 Army from the time and making it look like his. So the best way to do that is to go with the Navy revolver in the game because it is the 1851 Navy, and it has the open top uh, design, so it looks almost exactly the same. The only real major difference being that as it was a conversion revolver, it had an ejector rod instead of the, uh, so this one you can see is still a black powder in configuration. This isn't a conversion revolver, so it doesn't accept metallic cartridges like his does in the show. Uh, so the ejection rod is different. Uh, the other one, the one from the show is more modern. This one's older. And also the conversion revolver that he's using in the show has a cylindrical barrel instead of an octagonal barrel like this one. But other than that, they look almost identical. So to make it look like that, we're going to give it the short barrel, improved rifling, improved sights, the ironwood grips on it, and then the mahogany varnish. Uh, no carvings, no engravings, and then the metal should just look like this. It's real basic looking. So black and steel for the barrel, the cylinder, the frame, and the trigger guard, and brown steel for the hammer and the trigger. And once you've done that, you've got a revolver that looks almost exactly like the one that Elam Ferguson uses in Season 2 of Hell on Wheels. So uh, those two guns are the only guns super closely associated with this character, despite the fact that he touches various other guns throughout the show. Uh, so that is guns. Let's move on to the outfit itself. All right, and so here we have the outfit, and I think it turned out decent well. It's not perfect because some of the items that he's wearing are pretty dissimilar from what we have available in the game, but I think it turned out pretty dang good. So let's just go through all of the items that make up this outfit. So the hat I chose to go with is the uh, third variant of the western hat. It's this kind of light tannish brown one. The color and shape matches the hat that he wears from the show pretty much identically. The only problem being that the crown that he wears doesn't kind of bulge out in the middle like this one does. It's a flat top and it's a little bit taller. There really weren't any other good options. I, I went through a couple. I tried the Western Hamburg hat, uh, the short stovepipe cap. None of them looked as close to the one that he wears in the show as this one. I wish we had a better option, but uh, this one still comes pretty dang close and I think looks real good with the outfit. So that is the hat. For the coat, I chose to use the fourth variant of the Everyman jacket. It's this sort of dark gray looking one. It's pretty close. So the one he wears in the show is kind of like a dark gray green uh, and it's much more uniform looking. It looks to be made of wool too. Uh, so it's a more unique jacket that we weren't super able to replicate, but I think this one looks the closest, especially when compared to the pants and the vest, which is kind of the color uh, combination that I was trying to match the best with. So I think this one is the best option, but uh, really any uh, waist length coat, or uh, I guess you could call it just a little bit lower than waist length coat, uh, that has that kind of dark gray green, like if you have a better one, maybe it was limited, limited time clothing that I don't have access to, then it would be a good option. But if you don't, then this variant of the Everyman jacket is the best one I could find. So 
So that's the coat. Then for the vest, I chose to use the Paisley vest, the ninth variant, this kind of almost plain black looking one. The one he wears in the show is a black vest. It doesn't have any design on it, but this is minor enough that it doesn't really bother me. It buttons up real high and uh, it's nice and clean and uniform. So I didn't want to use the uh, traditional vest. None of the opulent vests looked good for it. It's not... Uh, it doesn't have the two layers of buttons, so the Richfield vest looked really weird. Plus, the one he's wearing in the show has lapels. So I think that this variant of the Paisley vest is the best way to go, even though it does have some minor designs on it. But really, you can't really see them a whole lot from the outside, so I think this vest is pretty much perfect. So for the shirt, I had it with a green one, but I, I mean, I had it with a gray one, but I didn't like it as much. Plus, when I zoom in on the picture a little bit, I think his shirt's actually green, and this one's collar match is better than the original one I used. So the, I think the best shirt to use with this one is the 21th variant of the everyday shirt. It's this kind of light olive green one. It matches his from the show pretty much perfectly. The collar's right, and of course you pop that collar open and it matches perfectly. So that's the shirt. For the gun belt, I think the best match is the uh, Bulger gun belt, the sort of reddish brown one. It matches the color of his very well. It has bullet loops like his. Now his obviously sits higher because he doesn't wear it down so far on his leg, but this one matches it pretty dang close, and he only ever uses one, so I don't have a offhand holster equipped. Then for the pants, the clean black clerk pants are the best option. They match the approximate uh, darkness of the vest, and they're nice and clean like the vest, which gives that nice contrast against the jacket. So I think it's pretty much essential to have clean black pants for this outfit to work. If not, any black pants will work, but like I said, I think these are the best option. For the boots, I went with the second variant of the Warren Ropers boots, the sort of light brown wore out variant. Uh, they look pretty much exactly like the ones he wears. Uh, he does not appear to be wearing spurs, so I did not include any spurs. And so, like I said, uh, comparing them side by side, I think you'll agree that it looks a lot like them. The outfit's pretty dang good. The jacket is really the only weak point, but there wasn't a great other option. So, I mean, I guess if you want to try changing it up, you could take the jacket off and roll up the sleeves and do a, uh, the Elam outfit where he's, I don't know, doing something where he doesn't want to wear a jacket. But uh, I think it looks pretty dang good as is. So that is the full outfit. Uh, let me show you the hair and facial hair. All right, and so for the hair, you have two options. I think the best option is no hair. I think it looks the absolute best. Uh, the other option being the buzzed one, it just, you know, obviously would reflect him if he hadn't shaved his head for a couple days. So uh, either one of those options works really well, but I, I really like the bald look because he appear, uh, appears to, in the show, shave his head pretty regularly, so it usually doesn't have any hair on it. Then for the facial hair, we're going to use the Reverend uh, style, and we're going to go with black coloration for that, uh, the ninth variant. So there's basically two options for his facial hair. I think this one works the best just because it helps shape up his face uh, the way that I like it and the way that it looks a little bit be uh, more like he does in the show but the other option so the woodsman style does look a little bit more like his because his box is off just a little bit more in the corners and is a little bit more bushy uh kind of looking in the show so either one works but i think the reverend helps uh make him actually look more like the character from the tv show because when i put this on him even though i think it might match his beard a little bit better it screws up the facial shape that i was going for so uh, like I said, I think the Reverend works the best, but the Woodsman is also an option. So here we have the character, uh, and I'll just go through each section. I'll give you a couple seconds on each one, so if you want to follow along and create the character, you should have the time to. Uh, and of course, if at any time it seems like I'm moving too fast, you can always pause the video or uh, go down into settings uh, on the video itself and just slow down the playback speed. But uh, let's just go through all of them right now so you can recreate this character on your own.
And so that is the character creation. So if you follow all of those sliders, uh, at least pretty close to them, you can maybe tweak them a little bit, and you might even come up with a better outcome than me. But if you follow them, uh, you will have a character that looks quite a bit like Elam Ferguson from Hell on Wheels. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.